Marisa, what's up? It is really, really early in the morning. I uh, didn't get much sleep, and for some crazy reason, I have way too much energy. So, what are we doing today? So, I did my last video, which I literally just uploaded, and here I am making another one. I am absolutely nuts, but anyway. Um, yeah, I did go over a little bit what I wanted to do today. So, I wanted to try... Um, the Primal Flow with Floetrol. I tried this um, paint without any um, pouring medium um, and then I tried it with its own medium which is incredibly safe obviously um, and it with the medium and the um, Celtastic pour oil it it really this paint really develops beautiful cells, so I want to see if my, you know, tried and true buddy here, Flow Troll, um, how, you know, it's going to work with this beautiful paint. So, for some crazy reason, I wanted to do fall colors, uh, which is not crazy, because I wanted to try this uh, pumpkin, um, I thought it actually said it's pumpkin spice pumpkin mica uh, pigment so sorry about that my uh, camera went out of focus yes I want to try the pumpkin uh, mica pigment so I decided to kind of revolve my colors around um, that beautiful orange so and then also um, I am gonna I have these two beautiful owls here I'm just gonna use one of them today so I am going to do an open cup, and this is an 8x10 um, canvas, and I'm also going to pour over this cute little guy, doo -doo 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 -doo, my little owl, okay, that came in my Primal Flow, um, actually one of these came in my subscription box, and the other one came in my starter kit, uh, I believe, yes. So, okay, so we're using uh, the flow troll, which, uh, like I said in my last video, which I strained. Okay, and I keep it back here in this little guy. And basically, um, in the bottom of each cup, I just filled enough flow troll just to thinly cover the bottom. I didn't want to overdo it because this paint is pretty fluid on its own. So, I just poured just enough. So it would be a thin layer on the bottom. So this is uh, Shimmer Black. And then I love this color. <clears throat> Sorry, the Champagne. It's like this creamy, like metallic-y, like, ugh, it's a, it's a beautiful color. It's like a cream color. It's just gorgeous. All right, so we're using the Champagne. And then we're going to use some Sunshine. Okay. And then we're going to use the um, Glam Red, a beautiful color. And then here is the unique color. Okay, so what I did was at first I just used the white with the pigment. And it really wasn't like popping or anything. And please forgive me because I really haven't used pigments in my painting. So I was kind of like just experimenting and figuring out for myself, being very unfamiliar, really with how pigment, like just powdered pigments uh, kind of work, because I really have never used them before. So I kind of made this very light orangey salmon color. So what I did was, at first I used the titanium white just with the pigment, and I was like using it a lot, and it came out like very, very, very light. Let me just stir that a little bit. So, um, yeah. And remember, oh, with these paints, you have to shake it really well before you start uh, pouring them into the cups. Um, so then after that, I was like, ah, this color is like, it's really not doing anything for me. Um, so I just added some uh, sunshine and some glam red to uh, that white with the pigment. So that is that color. So it's a very... Um, a very light kind of like salmon uh, color which I think is very pretty okay so that's consistency I think that's pretty good 
And yeah, so that's what we're doing. Uh, the open cup, and then afterwards, I'm gonna do one of these owls. Alrighty. And I don't know if I'm adding, um, I may add a couple of glass pieces. I'll see how I feel about that. Or actually, maybe I'll just like sprinkle some raw pigment right on top. Maybe that's what I'll do instead. Alright, I'm gonna take a sip of this coffee. And I wanna show you something really quick. Mm. Oh, nectar of the gods. Okay, so um, I have I've had this for a while. Um, this is a really good deal. This is like twenty five bucks on Amazon, and I really really love this medium. It is really gorgeous, and it gives me no problems. It's just beautiful um, medium. But on another channel, um, and maybe some of you or many of you are already subscribed to her. But um, it's smart art materials, and I've mentioned Olga's um, uh, channel many times before, and she's amazing. She just recently moved. She just redid her her whole new studio. So I am going to link her channel below. If you are not subscribed to her, you should really uh, check her out. So she. Um, tried this, the Try Art Liquid Glass, as a varnish. And I was like, oh my goodness. I said, I am like really into varnishing now. Like once I start trying something, I am just, uh, I just go uh, all in. So um, I said, well, okay, I have plenty of this left. And it was like up to here. So I like started varnishing everything after I had varnished the first thing. And honestly, it came out, I feel, uh, me personally, like it came out better than using, um, I just bought, what was it, the Liquitex, it was a varnish and medium, and honestly, it was giving me some brush strokes, like too many, um, and like you kind of want to not have brush strokes, and this actually worked a million times better, like it was just so easy to use. And I used, oh, let me, I actually have a little chair in here now, so I'm sitting down, or was sitting down, before I get a nice angle there. So I um, got, uh, I have three sizes of these. These are white nylon brushes, and they're really, really, really soft. So I went hog wild and started varnishing everything, and I even did this guy, and this is pretty dry. It came out really, really pretty. Uh, there is what you see texture in there is actually texture of the paint, so it's not varnish. Um, and like these, like shells, just like everything just pops now. It's just really cool. Oh yes, and by the way, I did wind up um, hand painting the back with um, the Primal Flow. Um, uh, two of the colors, the like more aqua, and then that deeper blue, and that came out really cool. And then I added some gold, and I'm actually once this is like 100% dry, I'm actually going to varnish the back. So that actually came out pretty cool. I really like doing that. It was almost kind of like watercolor uh, when you um, like a nice wash of color if you use a brush with the um, pouring acrylics. So that came out beautiful. I am in love. Now this one was already varnished with, where is it? Hold on. With the, um, with the Liquitex, but I was getting a little bit of brush strokes. I was like, all right, I'm going to redo this, do a second coat with, um, the Tri Art. And honestly, it came out really beautiful. So I don't mind the ring light now because it's, Exactly what I need you to see. No brush strokes. It's really, really, really cool. I love it. It is so easy to use. Um, and it actually dries pretty fast. And I did torch a little bit if there were any bubbles. And then, what? Oh, I think I used a balloon on this. I just tried like that balloon dip thing and it was okay, like that technique is okay. But then when I varnished it, I was like, okay, I like this much more now. Um, the back isn't done or anything. But like, th this works so well uh, as like, like they give that resin finish. 
and I did this guy again and yeah like I originally like I said I used the uh, other varnish the varnish slash medium and I was getting like brush strokes and it was like really annoying and this is so cool I love like varnishing these like the um I didn't do this side yet see like the brush strokes in there that's from the regular varnish that is the try art it's like no brush strokes it's perfect um, and then I did this little guy that came out really well as well and yeah I am so happy I think I just have to do little edges um, I just want that to dry and then I'm gonna do the edges after and then this coaster this has quite a few um, uh, quite a few uh, coats uh, but it's actually the, the many coats is the um, the Liquitex and then last night I uh, used the tri -R and it came out so much better and again I have not yet finished the back I will um, figure something out with that but this came out really really beautiful like I just love it and those little dots or whatever that is actually, um, I believe that was like the shimmer black and maybe there's some silver in there. So it's not air bubbles or anything. So yeah, so that's what I've been doing. So um, yeah, I found uh, that idea to use this as a varnish um, through Olga on her channel. So, uh, you know, go check her out. Um, yeah, because that was a great idea. And now I... Like, I mean, I love this as a pouring medium. Um, this is actually quite a bit still. Um, but this is a huge bottle of like $25. Get it on Amazon, free shipping. I mean, it's really, really, really. And it does see, it says finish resin. So it's really, really awesome. And very easy to work with. And it like washes out of uh, the brush so, so well. It's like so quick. And, and these, I finally remembered, so Stacy, Stacy Nicole from Artsy Farty Lovers, she had asked me where I got my little cups. Now these are the smaller ones, which is here. So when I'm doing smaller paintings, um, I will use the smaller ones. And when I'm doing larger paintings, I will um, a lot of times prepare my paints the night before, before I go to sleep. So like in the morning, I will stir them up a little bit and they have these really cool uh, lids. So Stacy, Nicole, my darling, I finally remembered because you know how many times I've been in that store and I'm like, oh man, I forgot again. So I got you one package of the small, there's 50 in there. And I got one package of the larger ones and uh, these can be reused so you know if you just like want to prepare your paints the night before use the paint and then um, yeah like sometimes I will like just add more paint if I'm using the same medium um, I'll just keep on you know putting the same color in the same cup or if you wash it out quick enough it won't start getting stuck to the inside of the cup and you can just keep on reusing them and that's it and if the the paint does dry inside you could just like kind of peel it off so yeah I mean at some point you could throw them away but you absolutely can reuse them quite a few times so those are for you and I will send those off soon all right guys so I have talked long enough let's get started with these uh with the open cup uh pour today i haven't done one in a while so let's get started and then i'll do the owl after all right guys see you in a sec <music>
So I really like this color combination. It's it's different. Like it's not I don't know, there's something about these paints. It's like very unique colors when you mix and when you pour. I am really loving this color combination. It's just like very different. Um, yeah, I'm just in love. What can I say? I know, have you ever been in love with paints before? <laughs> well, I guess I am. And I got a lot of like micro cells going on. So the flow troll worked. Um, I didn't get like huge cells. I didn't use any no silicone. Um, but I like this. This is very unique and different. And I just love this color combination. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know what to say. It's just really cool. And yeah, I, I added a little of the um, burnished bronze glitter again, just a touch. Just to, because I'm just like so into like kind of adding a little something now. I'm not going to be adding it to every one of my paintings, but I am just like so like into it now. So I just want to use it. I can't help myself. But yeah, I really, really, really am enjoying these Especially this little section right there is like, uh, I love it. And all those cells, and yeah, those are a little bit slightly bigger. Um, yeah, I got some weird green going on in there. Yeah, I am just loving this. This is very cool, unique, and my camera keeps on going out of focus. What else is new? There you go. Yeah, so that is cool. So let's go on to Little Owl. So I love the way I had tipped it a little bit. I wanted to kind of the colors to drip into one another. And I had a lot of fun with this. I just added a touch of the pure pigment, uh, the mica right on top, just to give it like a little speckled look. That's what I was going for. And I just added a little bit of the, um, the glitter as well, but just uh, slightly. And then I even have some uh, lacing and cells going on in here. I just love the way the paint kind of dripped down into one another. Yeah, I am having so much fun with these cutouts and these colors are just so unique. I really cannot wait until my next subscription box comes. I am telling you. So that is that, guys. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed. This is a lot of fun to make. And yeah, that's it. That is it for today, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. And let me know what you think. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks so much, guys. Have a wonderful day.